News 12 local headlines from EPB. This is the place for the latest news from around the Tennessee Valley and North Georgia. Hello everybody, it's me Andrew Harris. Interested with making headlines for you right now. The jury has reached its verdict in former President Donald Trump's so-called hush money trial that came late this afternoon. Former president was found guilty on all 34 counts of falsifying business records. He is the first former president to be convicted of a felony. A New York jury found him guilty of falsifying business records in a scheme to illegally influence the 2016 presidential election, which he won. Case boiled down to hush money payments to a pornogra pornographic actress who claims that she had sex with Donald Trump. Jurors convicted Trump on all 34 counts after deliberating for about nine and a half hours. Now, the verdict exposes the former president to all sorts of potential prison time in the city where he was catapulted into a star and ultimately the presidency. He says he is innocent and this was a rigged, disgraceful trial. Chattanooga Sports Authority Board received an update this morning on the status of their South Broad Stadium project. Development agreement between the developers, lookouts and other partners is still being hammered out. The agreement, which is 10 pages long, highlights various aspects of South Broad development, such as financial responsibilities, infrastructure needs and community impacts. A bond lawyer at the center of all this says there have been some issues with negotiations, but emphasizes he believes there will be significant progress soon. We certainly expect probably within the year uh, you know, that he would be breaking ground on these projects. Now, what was so hard about negotiating this agreement is obviously interest rates could go crazy again. Something you know, odd could happen, but right now that would be the expectation. Yeah, he says he expects to send the development agreement to the Hamilton County Commission and Chattanooga City Council in the next week or maybe two weeks. However, at the last meeting, and that was back in April, officials said documents were ready to be sent in a similar time frame, and we're still waiting. I do thank you for joining us for your News 12 headlines, and we'll be back in a mere 60 seconds.